Snapping TV. Hello and once again welcome to another episode of Bitnapping TV. Today it's all about the application we use to create Bitnapping TV called Boings TV by Boing Software. Uh, go to www.boings.com slash boingstv to find mo out more about our get a 30 day trial of it. Uh, well, in our German podcast Digital Upgrade, we stream our episodes live while we record them reg regularly. So Boings TV can't do that out of the box yet. But there is a free and easy workaround to that. So first let's open up Boings TV, start with a blank template for example. We just wait a second. And well, there is our document. We could add stuff to that document now, but we don't have to because all that is important now right now is the streaming part. So the first thing we have to do is to use this pop-out on the top right here to open this pop-out window. Well, what we would have to do right now uh, is pipe the output of this window into, well, our streaming applications, whatever that might be. Um, for that purpose, we just don't need the title bar. So what do we do? We hit that little wheel up there and hit uh, and choose hide title bar. So now it's just that window. We can bring Boinks TV in the uh, foreground uh, again and just don't care about that window anymore. The next thing in the pipeline is uh, Cam Twist. It's free. You find it at allocinit.com. Yeah, check automatically if you want. And now let's choose Desktop Plus in the left hand column. Click Select in the bottom and, well, choose the screen. Um, you, your Boinks TV is on. Don't you don't, don't need full screen, but you need confined to application window. What you do now is you select um, the Boinks TV untitled blah 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 ready window, which is the window we just um, popped out, and we don't need a resizable selection. You can save this setup by clicking Save Setup if you want, and make it auto load for each startup of CamTwist. To get the maximum resolution out of CamTwist, you need to set something up in the CamTwist settings. So we go to Preferences, we go to General, and down there you find Video Size. You can either select one of the um, pre-selected um, sizes, like 640 by 480, which would match our resolution, or go to Custom and enter the re resolution you want to stream. So I go 640 by 480, and now I re to re need to restart Cam Twist. Nothing easier than that, and as you can see, we just saved that setup, it auto-loaded it, and there is still the right uh, window um, selected. So now, we created a virtual camera using Cam Twist, and what it does, it captures the video from Boeing's TV. So, now we could go to something like, um, not handbrake, but QuickTime Broadcaster, where is it? Or Flash Media Encoder, or the Ustream web streaming thingy. Whoa, I just turned off the sound. And choose your um, Cam Twist camera in, um, the, in, as the input source. Now let's add another layer, so you see it's actually this, um, the video coming from here. So as you can see, we have the Boeing's TV logo um, on top of it. So it's actually the Cam Twist, uh, the Boeing's TV output. Now we have video coming from Boeing's TV to um, our streaming server, but we also need audio, and therefore we use Soundflower. Soundflower is also free. Um, just Google it, Soundflower. Uh, um, you find it at Cycling74, and you select Soundflower to channel as the output device. Now in your streaming application, whatever it might be, QuickTime Broadcaster, Flash Media, Live Encoder, or um, the web streaming um, panel, choose Soundflower 2 channel as the audio source and enable playthrough in Boings TV. You won't hear anything because the sound goes directly from Boings TV to Soundflower into the streaming application. What do you do to monitor your audio? You start the application 
Soundflower bed that comes with Soundflower. What this um, enables you to do is to pipe the sound also to, let's say, the built-in output and, well, if I hadn't turned down now, you would actually hear um, me talking. So, I would say that wraps up streaming using Boinx TV pretty much and if you follow those easy steps, um, well, you're set to stream your show live with Boinx TV. So, if you want to be a fan of Bitnapping TV, not of Boinx TV, you can also be a fan of Boinx TV on Facebook. But if you want to be a fan of Bitnapping TV, go to our uh, Facebook pa fan page, uh, facebook.com slash bitnapping TV, become a fan, write us an, a message on the wall, and that's it for today. Thanks, bye bye. Submit your tips and questions at www.bitnapping.tv.